So yesterday we were talking about how we convert a decimal into a fraction. Um, and to do that, the first thing we're going to do is we need to know the decimal places, the place values. And we're always going to look at that last digit. So for this first problem here, we're going to look at the last digit, the 6. It's farthest to the right. And what place value is that in? That's the hundredths place, right? That, that TH at the end means what? It's not going to be a hundred. It's not worth... $600, but it's worth what? Something over 100, right? So it's a fraction with 100 in the bottom. So when we write that fraction, we're going to have 100 in the bottom, and what goes on top? 36. So we just take the number, but take the decimal point away. So it's just going to be a whole number, 36. Once I do that, what do I need to make sure that I do? Simplify. Simplify, right? And remember, there's only two things that we really need to check. The only two things that we'll ever need to reduce by would be what? Two, two and five. All right, if we can divide by two, what's going to be true? Both numbers will be even. even. Is, that, uh, is that the case here? Are they yes. both even? Yeah, so we'll reduce by two. When we do that, 36 divided by two is? 18. 18 and 100 divided by two is? 50. 50. Um, we reduce by two, so we're done, right? No. No, we need to check again. Can we reduce by 2 again? Yes. Yeah. So let's do that. 18 divided by 2, 50 divided by 2 gives us what? 9 over 25. Can I reduce that one? No. 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 Um, this one, the bottom number is divisible by 5, but the top number is not. Remember, we have to reduce both of them at the same time. All right, now, I did reduce by 2 twice here, um, which means I could have reduced one time by a bigger number, uh, what could I have reduced by from the beginning? Four. Could have reduced by 4, right? So if I did 36 divided by 4, I would have gotten 9, and 100 divided by 4 would have given me 25, so I would have gotten it in one step. Um, but it's a lot easier, I think, to just reduce by 2 and maybe have to do it a couple extra times uh, rather than look for a bigger number to reduce by. All right, how about the next one? That's the hundredths place also, right? Yes. So 5 is in the hundredths place. Um, again, that THS means that it's going to be a fraction with 100 in the, 100 in the Seven. denominator. So the 100 is going to go down to the bottom, and what's going to go up top? 175. 175. So we're going to use that whole thing. All right, can I reduce this one by 2? No. no. Why not? Yeah, well, the top number is not divisible by 2, right? The top number is odd, so we can't divide that by 2. Can I reduce by 5? Yes. yes. So we'll reduce by 5. 175 divided by 5 is? 35. 35, okay. And 100 divided by 5 is? 20. Am I done? No. No, we, we still need to check. We cannot reduce by 2 still. In fact, if you can't reduce by 2 at the beginning, you're not going to be able to reduce by 2 later either. But we can reduce by 5 again. And when I do that, 35 divided by 5 is 7, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. Now, this is an improper fraction, but is there anything wrong with leaving it as an improper fraction? No. We're going to leave that as an improper fraction. Kind of like the last one, we could have reduced this by a bigger number. Instead of reducing by 5, we could have reduced by 25, and it would have taken one step. But I, again, I think it's a lot easier to see that they're both divisible by 5, and so we'll just reduce by 5 until we're done. All right, last one. Uh, this last digit here, this is not in the uh, hundredths place, is it? What is that in? That's the thousandths place. All right, so when I write my fraction, this time I'm going to have 1,000 in the denominator. And what goes in the numerator? 615. All right, can I reduce that? Yes. By what? By 5, okay. We'll reduce by 5. 615 divided by 5 is? 123, okay. And 1,000 divided by 5? Can I reduce that? No. Nope. We're done. Okay, we can't reduce it by 2. We can't reduce it by 5. Um, we know that there's nothing else that's going to go into both of them, so we can stop.